Tottenham's next three signings are set to be revealed. And the three names that keep coming up are Chiesa, Pedro Neto, and Ivan Tony. We're going to break down the latest and greatest Tottenham news, views, and clues. If you're new to the channel, please do go down, hit that subscribe button. We are less than 50 subscribers from 24,000. Now, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. It's going to be a very, very interesting couple of weeks. Big Ange is coming out saying the transfers we want are still on. And Tottenham fans are very much, I don't want to say at each other's throat, but there's a lot of fans going at each other on the timelines. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you haven't already as well. There's a lot of, you know, people just going back and forth, back and forth on the socials. You know, and I look at it, I look at Tottenham this window, Paul O'Keefe come out and said that there are three signings that um, could be lined up or are lined up, I should say. And it's got everyone thinking, who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Now, the, the, the name that keeps popping up at a ridiculous rate is Federico Chiesa. Now, Chiesa had a fantastic Euro 2020 or Euro 2021. It was actually played and he, he terrorized England in that final. And he hasn't really been the same since that Euro final. He's had a number of injuries. He did play, I think, 30 games last season. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with regards to um, that, that signing because Tottenham have obviously got a very good understanding of the Italian market with, you know, Romero, Benson Cork, Kulisevsky, Udogi, Vicario. Gellini, you know, player after player after player, Radu Dragusin, loads of players we've signed in the last couple of years from Italy. Now, Fredro Chiesa, um, there's a lot of reports out there linking him to Tottenham. Now, Paratici obviously used to be on Juventus's payroll, so he will know that he's only got one year. Everyone will know at Tottenham that he's only got one year left on his contract. We should, in my humble opinion, Snap him up. Snap him up indeed. He's got a lot of experience. He's won big trophies. You bring another player into the dressing room who's got that winning mentality. You know, he's 26 years of age. He's won a Euros. He's won a couple of Italian Cups. He, he can play on the left. He can play on the right. That left wing position, I think he could cement as his own because Son could play for the middle. Then you've got players like Richarlison, Lancashire. Um, to, to potentially come in. His contract expires June 30th, 2025. He's valued at 35 million euros. Now, Football London have come out and said Federico Chiesa can grab sentimental Tottenham shirt number if he completes transfer. And I believe that sentimental number is number 14. Um, now, the 26-year-old uh, is edging close to a switch to Ange Postacoglu and key figures behind the scenes find their uh, want to fine-tune their squad to next season. The notion that Kate Chiesa will eventually end up a pitch in England has been long-standing. Chiesa um, is wanted by Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool. Now, obviously, he come through Fiorentina's academy and according to Football on this is what they've said on their, on their article, um, in 2020, the European Championships was obviously delayed. Um, Chiesa uh, and Italy... Uh, reigned supreme at Wembley to hand England the heartbreaking. Yeah, we already know this case. Who only has sort of left in his contract with Juventus has been subject to interest throughout the window, however, according to reports in Italy, which have been re uh, relayed across the board. The forward is expected to finalize the transfer to Tottenham for around 30 to 35 million euros. Um, and then when the ink dries, uh, this would uh deal the Italian would have picked up his shirt number, however. That might be a relatively straightforward decision based on the options available to him in North London. Chiesa, oh, sorry, he wears number seven for Juventus and number seven for Italy. National side, as things stand, those two numbers are taken at Tottenham and, when, and with not many first-team options available. But there is a sentimental choice that could be a no-brainer for the ex-Fiorentina man. So in terms of Chiesa, he's got 51 caps to his name and 25 um, for four seasons at Fiorentina. When you look at his stats, when you look at his individual numbers, they are relatively good. We all know his quality. 
it's just that injury record for me. That injury record is a little bit concerning. Now, last season, you know, he played 33 games in the league. He played four games in the Italian Cup, nine, uh, 10 goals, three assists. The season before, he only played 21 games in the league. And the season before that, he only played 14 games in the league. That injury record is slightly concerning. Now, Pedro Neto's injury record is even worse. So the three players that we are being heavily linked to um, do have, or especially Neto and Chiesa, have a lot of injury concerns. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with regards to Chiesa. You look at that, you know, you look at on the right-hand side, the amount of positions he can play. 61 games left wing, 93 games right wing, 62 games second striker, 24 games centre forward. Um, then he's obviously he's played left mid, attacking mid, and right mid. 37 games at right mid. Um, and then he's played attacking mid. He's played twice in left midfield 11 times. Very, very versatile positions there. Look, all over the place. And this is what Ange Postacoglu likes. He could solidify himself as a forward at Tottenham. And for me, has a lot of the um, a lot of the attributes to be a top, top player of us. Another player being heavily linked is Pedro Neto. Now, he's another one would come in and, and cement his position in the forward line. No problem at all. Another one who can play on the left, can play on the right. Very, very, very good technical. Last season had uh, double digits for assists. For me, I've, I've wanted Pedro Neto at this football club for a long, long time. But those injuries are a concern. I'll be honest, they are a concern. You know, he's played, he's been at Wolves since 2019. His contract expires June 30th, 2027. He's valued at around 55 million euros according to transfer market. But when you look at his injury record, it's extremely concerning. 20 games in the league last season, 18 games in the season before that, 13 before that. Back in 2020, 2021, he played 31 games. Then we got 11 GA in the 20 games. The season before that, he didn't get a goal. Um, he only got one assist. Injuries have definitely taken their part on him. But he's another one who's very, very versatile. You know, 44 games left wing, 36 games right wing, 19 games at centre forward, 14 at second striker, and 13 at attacking midfield. Very, very versatile player. But should Tottenham be looking at more players that aren't necessarily going to be broken you know, in, in a Tottenham shirt. He's he, he's a, a, a look, he's, he's an unbelievable uh, footballer. Let, let's just say it as it is. Pedro Neto and Chiesa are top, top talent. They are they are some of the best wingers in Europe. But it's them injury concerns, man. We've got we don't have that that's that's the position we need to strengthen. We need to strengthen final third phases of play and and being more, more ruthless with our finishing. Uh, in my opinion. Now, there is a link coming out from the standard with regards to Ivan Tony, And it said, Ivan Tony is handed transfer boost. Ivan Tony is interesting in an interesting position this summer. Clearly a capable goal scorer at Premier League level and into the final year of his contract. It would only be natural that the Brentford star would be attracting. Uh, still nothing has quite happened yet, although Tottenham could well be handed a transfer boost in pursuit of the England forward. According to TalkSport, the England forward is hoping Spurs make a bid for him this summer. And there he is taking his penalty where he didn't even look at the ball. For me, it makes perfect sense. An out-and-out -out number nine who can, can really improve us in a number of positions who, in my humble opinion would be the Harry Kane replacement we've been calling out for, plus gives real competition to Lancashire and Richarlison. And, you know, Tottenham are in four competitions next season. We're going to need more firepower. We're going to need more goals. You know, we play, to, um, we play tomorrow against um, against Vissel Cove, 11 a.m. It's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, in that game. And then we play Wednesday midday. Uh, and, of course, Bayern Munich... Um, in uh, South Korea and then by Munich um, in London. And we need to make sure some of our transfer business is done ASAP. We need to make sure that we're, we're prepared for the season. And just telling some people to uh, to stay relatively patient 
and a lot of Tottenham fans are starting to it's not I don't want to say lose well they are losing patience um now Romano said last night regarding Chiesa that he hasn't made his decision um on next club despite a lot of rumors that was Romano via playback and Tottenham are one of the clubs that are obviously heavily linked with him there's also reports um on the socials regarding um Fabrizio Romano saying that there's still a three million euro difference with regards to um Emerson Royale so if Emerson Royale goes that'll be Emerson Royale Brian Hill is close to a move to Girona according to reports with a loan of an obligation to buy Troy Parrott Tanganga Ryan Sessignon Undon Bele Joe Roden we are slowly getting rid of the deadwood but in my opinion we do need to speed up how we are bringing players over the line you know we've signed a two young players Archie Gray, who, who's going to be a fantastic addition um, to Tottenham, um, and as well as a young uh, player from Korea who's only really played 30 games in a uh, in a Korean uh, in the Korean league. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you have subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. I am.